We showed you highlights from two races at Lernerville. The late model feature had a lower than usual car count, possibly due to the weather. Yes, we were concerned about rains in the area since tracks to the east and south of Sarver had already been pelted or canceled that evening. Now, although there were only 13 cars to start, it was a great race to the finish. Mike Pegger Jr. was behind the wheel of the number one Cochrane ride. From the pole position, he would drag race the 66 of Doug Horton into turn one. Jared Miley in the H1 slips under Horton and takes the spot exiting two. Here we have some three wide racing for fifth place while Miley begins to close on the leader. Early on, the battle seemed to be in pairs. 29 Ken Shelton brand chased Horton for third, 14 of Danny Angelicchio tried to find a way around John Mollick, and the 10 of Alex Faree tried to hold off John Garvin Jr. On lap 13, Angelicchio slips off the banking, allowing Mollick to make an easy pass. The leaders use two different lines around the track, with Pegger preferring the cushion. He and Miley race this way for a number of laps. Garrett Crummett came to a stop to bring out a yellow with 16 laps completed. Pegger chooses the inner lane on the restart. He quickly pulls away from Miley and Schultenbrand. The 29 appears to have the position exiting two. It's then a drag race down to turn three. Not only does Miley pull even, he closes on Pegger exiting turn four. Again, Pegger opens up the lead, only to have Miley close through the turns. It seemed there was a lot of slicing and dicing around the top five, as you see Faree working the outside of Angelicchio. In the waning laps, Miley came close to taking the lead, but Mike Pegger Jr. would hold him off to pick up his first super late model win at Lernerville. Shelton Brand finished in the third spot, ahead of John Garvin Jr. and John Mollick. And A.J. Flick made a three-wide pass late in the sportsman event that propelled him to his second win of the season. Chris Schneider, Joe Kelly, Corey McPherson, and Brett McDonald round out the top five. Well, whether you prefer modifieds, sprints, or late models, on asphalt or dirt, at least one of these special events should interest you. Some of the biggest stars in modified racing will converge on Penn Can Speedway. It's the Clash of the Can, paying $5,000 to the winner of the 60-lap event. The purse totals over $30,000. This Friday, Motodrome Speedway presents the first of three 100-lappers for the late models this season. It will be features-only program for the other four divisions. It will be a down-and-dirty weekend at McKean County Raceway. On Friday night, the ULMS Super Late Models compete with $5,000 up for grabs to the winner of the 30-lap feature. Then $7,500 is on the line Saturday in the 50-lap event. The Rush Late Models, UEMS Mods, Street Stocks, and Mini Stocks are on the schedule each night as well. The All-Star Circuit of Champions Sprint Cars will make a couple of stops in Central Pennsylvania this weekend. First up is Williams Grove on Friday. The ARDC Midgets will join the 410s. Then the All-Stars visit Lincoln Speedway. Their Saturday night program also includes the 358 sprints. More 410 sprint action is on tap Sunday at Susquehanna Speedway Park. It's the Sprint Car Summer Classic 6. The 358 sprinters are also on the card for the evening. And Heston Speedway returns to action next Sunday with the UFO Super Late Models on hand. The Checker Flag Trophy is up for grabs to the winner of the 33 lap event. The Semi Late Model Sportsman will run a 25 lap feature. While there are plenty of specials to choose from, of course you can't go wrong at any short track across the state. It's going to be fun trying to figure out which one to go to this week. Yes, but whatever we decide, we're going to tweet it with our new Twitter account, at Jan Miller, co-host. Now, thanks again for joining us. Until next time, remember, if you want to contribute to the growth of our sport, quite simply support those who support racing. Pit Pass has been brought to you by... Aaron's of State College on the Benner Pike. By W.R. Hickey Beer Distributor, celebrating 80 years. And by Pocono Raceway, the Tricky Triangle. This has been a production of WHVL Sports.